Maud is already outside. Mitch is cheating today. Wes is one of them geezers that stands at the traffic lights. Yeah. This must be the drift area. <laughs> ST 170. ST 170, okay. ST 170, 367 brake. Right. He keeps breaking drive shafts. <laughs> Scooby Doo, holding the bonnet up. K20 turbo goodness. He blew the budget before he was able to get a bonnet prop. Another late arrival. Check out this 1600 Sport Mark II Escort. Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Marcus Hayes and today me and my beautiful girlfriend Kat are going to yet another car meet that we've never been to before. And this is going to be my first proper use of my new gimbal. We're leveling up. Maud is already outside warming up and she is looking clean after yesterday's jet wash. Shop Sunday breakfast car meet and I will leave links in the description to the meets social media as usual we're going to be meeting up first with the Coogans So we've made it to our rendezvous point. As you would have seen, we just met up with the Coogans who are here in their gold Mark II Escort gear. Got Nathan here with his Mark III Fiesta. AD Bright is here in his Mark II Fiesta track car. And Mitch is cheating today. He's brought his modern whip. Looking absolutely filthy, which is unlike him. met up with Wes and his super clean ZTEC turbo powered Mark IV Fiesta. And there's a few more people meeting us here as well, including one Mark II Escort that I'm really, really excited to check out. Jay's just shown up in his Mark II Fiesta that we've seen before, rocking a MH Deco on the windscreen. Some serious cars coming in now. Awesome turbo E30 Beamer. Seen this thing on Mike FPE's channel before. Awesome bit of kit. Check out the carbon bonnet. Really nice compromotive alloys. Nice kit on it. Roll cage inside. Carbon boot lid. What a machine. And then we have the Honda VTEC turbo powered Mark II Escort. Seen this on Mike FD's channel as well. Also draped in plenty of carbon fibre. Check that out for an extensive cage. Awesome cockpit. AEM screen on the dash. Check out the controls on the steering wheel. Proper bit of kit that. Yeah, Wes is one of them geezers that stands at the traffic lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I'd run down the road quickly and grab a McDonald's, save queuing up for food at the meet. Well, by the time we got back from McDonald's, everyone was ready to leave. Still glad I got McDonald's. Made it to the location of the meet. Loads and loads of cars here today. 
I've got a camera sitting on the gimbal, so I think I'm going to start off by cueing the music and grabbing some B-roll. Uh, the gimbal's definitely going to take a bit of getting used to, but uh, I'm sure once I learn to use it, it'll improve my B-roll. Jamie's here in his SI Fiesta today, and he gave me this really, really cool AA Transit. Just met uh, Kieran for the first time. He's admiring his work. If you remember, he's the one that done the hydro dipping for these covers, and he runs the YouTube channel called Little Red Fiesta. So definitely go and check that out if you haven't already. I'll leave a link in the description. Yeah, the Turbo Fiesta's getting close now. Close now. Yeah. Ah, cool, man. Ah, sweet, sweet. Quite a few people have started leaving already. AD's taken his bonnet off. Forgot to mention, actually, AD's started a YouTube channel, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. Definitely go and check it out. Probably one of the most aggressive Mark II Fiestas on the scene. Proper wing back bucket seats. Removable steering wheel. Let's check out the ST170 in the bay. Awesome. Speaking of ST170 Fiestas, Nathan's Mark III is also ST170 powered. This is so clean, this thing. These things are all hanging, but this one's really solid. And it does have plans to improve the bodywork even more. Really cool old Mustang, looks like it's leaving. More ST170 goodness in this Mark V Fiesta that we've seen before. This thing recently went back on the rollers and made 367 brake. And now he keeps braking drive shafts. <laughs> yeah, a bit of everything here today. Awesome little meat. Really cool classic Mini. Loving the front lip on it. Another really cool classic Mini over here. These things are so cool. Looks like this old school Beetle's about to leave. Check out all the patina on it. Awesome. The Mark II Escort that convoyed down with us. Got the bonnet up to reveal the K20 turbo goodness. Really expensive build, this one. Looks like he blew the budget before he was able to get a bonnet prop. Never seen one of these before. It's a Simca 1100. Awesome Chevy pickup truck sitting right on its belly. Old school Volvo. Looks like they're about to make a move. Parked next to a even older Riley. And then moving along a bit more, got a really cool four door Mark I Cortina. Another matte black Chevy truck sitting on its belly. Park next to yeah. this really, really cool yeah. Cortina Estate. The Rover P6 that we regularly see at these meets. Really, really cool with the airbrushing on the bonnet. Jensen Interceptor, yeah. check that out. My dad loves them cars. Yet more classic minis. One, two, and three. Check out this really aggressive looking Subaru Impreza. Really, really mad front splitter on it. Plenty of red bits in the engine bay. And Scooby-Doo holding the bonnet up. Really, really old Ford. Don't know if that's a Model Y. I don't know. Looks like it's running the original engine on a set of twin carbs. Plymouth Duster. Different one than we saw at the last meet. In this corner, we've got a Hillman Hunter. Parked next to some sort of Ford hot rod. That's beautiful. And that is parked next to an old school Granada. Check that out. Really cool dark green old school Mustang. Park next to yet another Chevy pickup truck. Over here we've got a really, really old Vauxhall. 
That's awesome. Parked next to a old Chevy. Uh, another one, looks like the same car, but matte black. Over here, we've got some more Chevy pickups. There was even more of them parked over here, but some of them have left. That yellow one is beautiful. More ratty looking one. Loving the graphics on the door. And this one's really, really cool, sitting right on its belly. And if we look in the back, they've come prepared with refreshments. Get another Chevy pickup over here. Looking absolutely mint. Check out the skull in the front. El Camino rolling out. Another really old Volvo. Looking absolutely pristine. Check out the Vauxhall Forenza. Really, really cool with the gold alloys. It's running a set of twin Delorto side drafts. And next to that, we've got a Vauxhall Viva also running on a set of twin Delorto side drafts. Another couple of old Chevys. This one's really cool with the graphics on the door. And in between them, we've got the really, really old school Ford with a V8 in the bay. We actually saw that Ford at the last meet and it makes a seriously cool noise. Check out this beautiful cream convertible Morris Minor. Really, really tidy engine bay. Got the red convertible roof. Just check out that matching interior. Cream with the red. That's got to be the mintest Minor I've ever seen in my life. Check out this Mark III Fiesta. Bit of an RS Turbo replica. Currently still running the 1.1 engine, but it will be getting a CVH Turbo at some point. Send it! <laughs> it looks like everyone's leaving now. Time to warm moored up for the journey home. Sent a few bits that must have turned up while I was chatting. Check out this old Chevy pickup. Beautiful. Over here we've got a Rover SD1. Check out this beautiful old Mustang. White with the blue stripes. Stunning interior in it as well. Another late arrival. Check out this 1600 Sport Mark II Escort. Sitting on really deep dish revolution alloys. Tasty cross flow in the bay, running on side drafts. Check out the Corbu bucket seats, half cage in the back. Love that. Ah, time for us to do the off now as well, I suppose. another awesome Sunday morning at a car meet. I feel really lucky that there's so many of these meets going on even during the winter time. Yet again, such a wide variety of cars to check out. And yeah, well worth getting up early for. But yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. If you did think it was any good, please do give it a thumbs up and a share. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Click subscribe to keep up to date with all my future uploads and check the links in the description to my social media and my website. I'll also leave my email address down there for anyone who wants to contact me. 
massive thanks to each and every one of you for your continued support on my channel. But other than that, until next time, from me and my beautiful girlfriend Kat, thanks for watching.